Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favorite Final Cut Pro plugins. So I started editing with Final Cut this year, actually in January, after being on LumaFusion for a few years on my iPad. So I downloaded a bunch of plugins that I thought would help make my editing a bit better. Every so often I go through and search for free Final Cut Pro plugins. So all of these are free, none of these I actually paid for. And I'll put a link in the description box below to every single plugin that I mentioned, if I can find all of them. I did the whole video on how I edit using Final Cut Pro. If you want to check that out, I'll have that in the eye up top for you guys to go check out. Um, in there, I do mention also some of these plugins that I'm going to mention in this video, but I did download a few more since uploading that video. So yeah, if you want to check that video, like I said, it's in the eye up top and the description box below if you want to check it out. But let's actually get started on all my favorite Final Cut Pro plugins. I have quite a lot. Okay, so now we're on my desktop, so let's actually get started with going into Final Cut Pro. So I'm going to start off with text plugins, and then we're going to go to generators, then we're going to go to effects, and then we're going to go to transitions. So I think text is the main or the biggest area where I have the most variety of plugins. I really love using different text plugins and it's just really nice to see like what you can do with text plugins. A lot of the time they're very customizable and you can change colors and fonts and things like that. So I really like that. And also when I'm making videos say of a product, I really like using callouts and things which Final Cut Pro doesn't really have a wide variety of. So then I take advantage of plugins for that as well. I really don't know how people can edit on Final Cut Pro without plugins, it just makes it so much better and you can get amazing ones for free. So let's get to the first ones here. Um, a lot of my plugins I get from some simple video making. Uh, they have a great site there with a bunch of free plugins that you can download. Um, so this is the first one I have here. So it just has a bunch of wide variety of different text animations that you can use. So you can just see these plain titles that I just downloaded. I don't think I've used any of them yet. But if I want to, I have the option here. This is the one that I use the most often, I think, or my favorite one for free. And it's called Catch the Shooter YouTuber Pack version 0.04. Um, so this is the one that has all the social media type of plugins and subscribe buttons and some titles. Uh, it's really a great pack and I'm very surprised that it is free since this is such a high quality. So here you can just see a bunch of subscribe buttons, different types of subscribe buttons and notification banners. Um, you can see here they have drop zones where you can drop like a photo of your channel or something. Um, so they have a bunch here that you can choose from. Some have really cute animations and things like that. So I absolutely love this pack. We also have share options here, a bunch of share options and um, very seamless transitions within them. And also if you're wondering all these elements that are in each of these animations are customizable so you can change the color of anything you want. So for instance, this option here, which has a bunch of social media icons. If I go here to the elements, you can see social media icons and then it shows you Facebook. You can change the color, Instagram, then you can change the color, everything. It's so customizable and you really have creative freedom with it, with the color options that you have. So each one of these are customizable to your liking. I've said that so many times now. Um, and again, much more subscribe things. Then you have some end screen templates, which is really nice if you're not sure like if your sizing is correct for your end screen template, you can look here and maybe adjust it to your liking. Then they just have a bunch of layout things that you can play around with. I haven't personally played around with any of these, but um, I think it's really helpful to have. Here are a bunch of drop zones with a bunch of things that you can do if you want a certain layout um, of different types of video clips or different video clips. These are all just really nice layouts. Um, live stream, you have a live stream button here where you can set like when is live stream, whatnot. Again, a lot of, a lot of um, layouts, so this is sidebars. Here is my favorite part, which is the social media ones where you have different social media shoutouts that you can do. I've used only the Instagram ones, but they're all really nice. So here you can see all the different types. And again, you can change the color of each icon when you use it. So I can easily go here, choose the social media that I want. So, so for instance, as you can see, this one only shows Facebook. 
This one shows Pinterest, this one shows Instagram, but whenever you use one of them, they're actually available to all types of social media. So you just go here to um, icon option and choose to the one you'd like to use in your title. So this is just amazing. <laughs> Again, free boggles the mind. I really hope it's still free. Um, so yeah, they have a bunch of social media icons here, just plain ones as well. Then they just have some titles. I don't use the titles that often. I think I've used it once or twice, but um, a bunch of free titles, just plain simple that you can use. Custom here has a few call outs that I've downloaded just to use. Um, so again, like I said, a lot of times when I do product videos, I like to add a little something to share about a certain part of the product or something like that. And these are really nice. These are my favorite ones, but these are also really nice. And I also here have a base correction. So you just apply that over your video and apply color correction to that so that you can just stretch that across your entire video and then your entire video is color corrected the same way, um, which is really nice. You just apply color correction to that title and it just applies to your whole video. Uh, you also have a look rate, which does the same thing initially. In Behavior Basics is another cool um, title that you can use. It's not actually a title, it's an animation. So let me just see if I can find an example of where I use this. Okay, so we have my video how I created my title here. So this is the project that I used to create my intro, sorry. And um, I'm just gonna quickly show you guys that M Behavior Basics I use in this um, compound clip. So here you can see, let me just go all the way in. You just put in the animation and it just follows that animation. So if I used the dart Y in, put it here then the animation will look like this. So each animation you just put over the thing you want to animate. And it's really as easy as that. So if I put an animation over this Instagram title, I'm just gonna quickly add one, just drop in very plain and simple. So there you can see it drops in the background and the title because it drops in everything that's underneath it. So the way to bypass that is just to create a compound clip of the things you want to animate. So I'm gonna make a compound clip of the animation as well as the social media icon. So let's just group that together. Now if I play it, you'll see it only drops in that animation. So that's how MBA Ever Basics works. It just has a bunch of fun animations that you can use in your videos. Then MCAM rig, rig here is a very cool one to zoom in on projects. So I'm gonna go back to my other project to show you guys this. So say I was talking here and I wanted to zoom in on a certain part of my video. So I wanted to zoom in on a certain part here. Then you just drag over your MCAM rig here and then you can just zoom in and just let's adjust it to zoom into here. So it just zooms in to that part of your video very easily. And then at the end of the animation, it's gonna zoom back out and there it zooms back out. So it's a very minimal way with, to zoom into a certain part of your video, very nice pen without using keyframes because that takes a lot of time. So this is really easy. You can even adjust how much it goes in or out. If you go all the way in, I do recommend disabling, um, where is it now? depth of focus blur, so then it won't blur your video the more you zoom in. If that's something you wanna enable, you can, but that's just my opinion or my tip for you guys. And with MCAM rig, it's the same as that in behavior. It applies to every clip that's underneath that title, so group it with a certain video if you don't want it to affect everything beneath it. Um, then let's go next up. I think this is from Ryan Nagel, is that his name's title? So this is just a plain title that I haven't really used. Again, one of his titles is this social media tag that he can use, it's very minimal, it looks like an Instagram tag. Simple video making, again, a set of callouts that I really like. This is my most used ones. I specifically like these because of the animation that you get when it creates the dot, as you can see there. And also the dot's colors are adjustable. Again, I'll put a video of an example of where I use these on the screen for you guys. Um, so these are really nice to use. So the next four plugins are all from Simple Video Making. These are also just plain type of animations for text or headers for text, titles, um, just with a bunch of cool animations. Again, every color you can change. Um, here are some other type of titles if you want something else for your videos. 
I just thought these look really cool. I have yet to find a place for to use them because they're pretty unique. But um, yeah, these are also used a lot. I feel like these are really cool titles to just put in your video. Very simple. This one is probably my favorite out of all of them. And then this one I also use a lot when I want to put a pop-up of something in. It looks like text messages, as you can see here. I'll put an example on the screen of how I use these usually for videos. These are just really cool if you want to make me like look, let it look like you're having text coming in. It looks really nice. So those are all my text plugins. I'm sorry if I'm rambling a lot, but um, yeah, those are all the text plugins that I use that I absolutely love and adore. Like I said, some of these I use more than others. Generators, I don't have a lot of plugins for and most of them I haven't really used if I have them. These are light streaks that I used when I edited a video for people who has a guest house here in Otsuring. And uh, I just use these to make some clips a bit more interesting. So I just have these light legs here. Again, simple video making. I have a few here of them here. These are just all layouts where you can just drop different clips and different collages or things like that. And this is just a cool little video maker thing. I think this could make videos, well, aesthetic videos look really cool. Um, I don't have the most aesthetic videos or my channel is just not really catered to that, but I love these. I really wish I could use these more. Um, so yeah, these are really cool little plugins for music players. <laughs> So those are all my generators, uh, not a lot, and most of them I can't really use or haven't really used, but I like to have the option to have them there. Now let's go to effects here um, and see which ones I installed. Um, mostly when I use effects, I use Final Cut Pro's effects. My most used effects are the Bad TV one, the camcorder, um, what is it, Photo Recall. Those are my most used ones. These are from Alex4D, I can't remember why. These are all the base corrections that I have here in the title section. I just accidentally imported them here. My most used effect ever is this magnifier one here. I use them a lot for my editing types of videos where I show you guys how to edit different things just to make it clear like if I'm tapping somewhere where I'm tapping. So for instance, I can just put, drag this magnifier, let me just split this clip here, drag this megaphone over this tiny piece of the clip, drag it to where I want. So say I want to put emphasis on, I know that, and I can adjust the color here to make it a rectangle. Then I can easily do that. You can adjust the drop shadow, um, how much it magnifies or not. It's really, really nice. I love this tool here. So I use this most often. I actually forgot about this pack that I have. It's a glitch effects pack, so you can just add glitches over your videos. I just have a few different types of glitches. My most used one, I think, is RGB Split 7 that I've used once or twice. Um, obviously, you're just gonna put this over like a small piece of a video, not the entire video. But yeah, this is a cool glitch pack if you're interested in a free pack of glitch effects. This one is the one I use. Those are all the effects that I use. Again, I don't have a bunch of effects that I have installed, um, but I have some if you're interested. And then lastly, we have transitions that I have installed. I have a, one set of transitions that I use all the time. I don't really use transitions all that much. Um, so these ones here are Final Cut Pro templates. These are also from Simple Video Making, as you can see here, that's the full name if you wanna search it or just look in the description box. Um, so these look like this. So you have one, this one I use a lot, um, this one that goes from lower left to up. Um, it's just like a brush here. I use this a lot when I put like overlaying clips. Again, I'll put an example on the screen. Um, this is also all brushes effects. Um, these one are gooey transitions. I don't really use these ever. I feel like they're a bit too much. Um, so you have just a bunch of here. This is a spray. This is just a chevron type of pattern. Um, splash transitions. <laughs> I don't know. I don't use these really. Lucas Erickson smooth, Erickson smooth transitions are one of my favorites. This is one of my favorite transition packs. I again use this when I was making that video for someone's guest house where I'm just showing the, like, the entire place and these really help for those type of transitions. I've used them in other videos also once or twice. So they just really have these cool transitions. So let me transition between these two clips. So that type of thing. You have a fast pan left 
these really are great for videos where you're taking videos of cinematography or something or places or things and you will transition to a different place and it just looks like it's moving with you um, and you forgot to do it with your camera yourself. These are really nice pan left. These are Luma fades, slide left, zoom in smooth or where well, that's zoom out and then smooth zoom in. Um, really, I love these different type of transitions. One of my favorite packs that I have. And lastly, we have another set for simple video making. These are free drippy transitions. This video looks like it's sponsored by free video making. It's not, um, but free drippy transitions. This one is the one I love to use most. And it's this one right here, the drippy bounce. It's probably very cliche and very 2013, 2015. I don't really care. I absolutely love this transition. I use it for overlay clips a lot. So this is what it looks like. It doesn't really work when the video is not like a different video. Um, let me just see if I can do something here to actually show you guys. Oh wait, I have this clip here. I think I used that transition here. Yeah, here you can see. So if I transition, it just, it's so nice and smooth. So I use this one a lot. I will on occasion use this water blow plub, blub, whatever you call it that or this drippy wave, but my go-to one is the drippy bounce. I absolutely love that for transitions, especially when the clip, the clip that's over top of the bottom clip is very contrasting to the color. Um, it just looks really nice when it fades. Um, I just absolutely love that transition there. So yeah. Those are all my plugins that I love to use. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any free plugins that you really recommend because plugins are very expensive. So I know it's really nice to find free ones that you can use. Um, that's why I wanted to make this video for you guys because Final Cut Pro is already expensive without buying extra plugins. So yeah, I really hope this video could help you guys and you found maybe a plugin that will work for you. Um, and I'll leave links like I said in the description box so don't forget to check those out and also I'll have timestamps if you want to go back to just like title um, plugins or just like transition plugins so you can see exactly where in the video that is. That is all my plugins that I love to use on Final Cut Pro. I'm like I said I'm still kind of a noob with this I've only been using it for like seven months um, but so far I've really been loving it so let me know in the comments below like I said any plugins that you recommend and definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon on the screen. Click on the playlist to see all of my other Final Cut Pro related videos and click on a video to my previously uploaded video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!